Welcome to this demonstration of how to register with Learns. You can get to Learns by going to the Google website, which I'm doing a search. So you can type Learns, you get a link through to our homepage. Or you could just type learns.org.nz into the browser, whether that's Firefox or Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Apple Safari or whatever. So register now link there and there's also one at the top of each page. Either will take you to the registration page. Now you need your registration teacher registration council number. If you don't have it in your head or your wallet or your handbag, you can go to the Teachers Council website and get it. So I'm just going to right click on that and open that in a new tab. The website's had a bit of a makeover, but you can search the register anyway. And we want the number, but we only know our surname. And I'm going to search for that. And there's a list of everybody in their surname. All the registration numbers are six digits long. So you just find yourself there. So I don't need that now. I've added myself to, for the purposes of this demonstration. And as soon as you put the six digit in, it asks if you're this person. I am, in fact, am. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to put in a password. And a work email address. And the alternative email address is really handy because we need it to if ever you move schools or you have a problem with your um, your email address teaching level I'm a primary teacher for the purposes of this so I'm going to choose one to four subjects I'm interested in you have to choose something here you might choose all or if you're secondary you just might choose one subject I'm interested in social studies and science. Now if you control to hold down to select another one or control and click to deselect, I'm going to just choose those two. Name of my institution. I'm going to say just for this that I'm at Burnside Primary School. As I say, I'll be deleting this afterwards. Work phone number area code and you don't need um, to put in any um, hyphens or things like that. This catcher is just there to stop us getting spammed. There's some fine print at the bottom. I'm going to scroll back up and make sure I've done everything. I'm just going to show you what happens if you make a mistake. I'm just going to take that out. These are all compulsory, these ones in the red. And I'm going to try and register now. Now it won't let me because it's asked me to put an email address in there. I'm going to do. Whenever you have to re-enter a form, you always have to put in passwords again. And you always have to put in the capture again. Oops. And I'm going to register now. If I've done that right, cool. Now I've got two email addresses. So a confirmation email has been sent to both of those. And you need to click on the link in that email to carry on to the next stage and have your account activated. Now the username and password that you had will gain you access to all Learns field trips and will also gain you access to My Learns, which will be the subject of a, another video. The email to turn up to show you what it looks like. And here it is.
I'm just going to drag it into here and it's addressed to you that's the link you have to click on or you need to copy and paste note that we've sent you a password and clear text so um, if you don't like it you can log in and change it um, it shouldn't be anything sensitive and it's just a reminder of what your login allows you to do how you can get hold of us with a teacher free phone there's an email support and if you want to know more about learns there's a recorded webinar um, that you can access that way and um, this may be updated soon and that link might be different for you thanks for listening and hope you'll register with learn soon and we look forward to providing you with free virtual field trips for you and your students.